Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Alright, I did have at least one duel in between episodes to see who it was, and unfortunately it was Taya, so nothing new. Now, I did a little bit of research on this game because I had no idea how to, like, advance certain things. And it turns out you can register a duelist, but only if you duel them enough times. Which sucks, because I haven't dueled anyone enough to register anybody. And for what I'm seeing here... It looks like there are two different opponents I can go against. So I am really glad as soon as you identify someone, you can still go to the map. Now, should I go left or should I go right? Like, for instance, you can register somebody if their uh, face over there on the left is a little bit more predisposed to liking you. Right now, everybody's just at blue, which is neutral. So they're not really feeling my friendship just yet. Oh wait, the crystals go away because I did that? Are you serious? As much as I would like to save Scum just to see who I'm up against, I'd rather not do that. So I'm trying to maximize the amount of duels that I can get. And it looks like it's Mokuba again. Maybe if I beat this guy enough times, I'll register with him. And then I'll know to avoid him. But I also heard that if you avoid people for too long, then they become unregistered. Which means you have to do that all again. And isn't that like a kick in the teeth? All right, let me summon two at a King Rex. I think that's the first time I actually used this monster in my deck. I haven't made too many changes in my deck, only that I replaced Hinotama with Ukazi. Oh, this guy really likes the curry. I haven't really had curry. But I have had soup that had curry powder as a flavor. Stuff like mulligatani. And that stuff is divine. Like, you know, shredded chicken, and I think it had, like, rice. I think it had onions and apple. Oh, penguin soldier, really? And I just happen to have two monsters on my side of the field. So now I'm completely exposed. Oh well. I do have a negate attack in case he hits me with something hard. Stray lands, eh? Well, they're certainly not hard. I mean, what's their attack? Zero? Now he just happens to tribute summon, which of course he doesn't. I guess he can't. Five. Man, Needlewall really loves to get me fives. I'm getting my daily dose of dose of fiver, am I right? <laughs> I'm gonna play stop defense so I can actually put one of them in attack mode. And therefore essentially do direct damage. There's nothing he could have done to stop it. I also looked for, like, uh, ways you can actually make the animations go faster. And unfortunately, I couldn't find anything. There were some people that were complaining that this game was a little rushed. In terms of, like, the functionality. Where the GBA games had a little bit more going for it. So maybe there, that's why there isn't too many Let's Plays of this particular game. But people really wanted me to do it. So of course I'm going to do it. Because I do this for you guys. And you know what? I kind of do this for me too. Because it exposes me to like games I haven't played before. And also I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh games. But I don't want to like play them too much. Because eventually you do get bored with it. Oh man, he's got nothing to defend himself. No, 
Now, I would actually get more damage if I just attack with two monsters instead of Sangha and Thunder. Now, if I can do 2300 damage and win... No, I can't do that. Yeah, even if I use Stimpak and Rush Recklessly, I'd only be adding 1400 damage, and that would not do it. Alright, time to bring in Sangha of the Thunder. Adhesion Trap Hole? What the hell does that do? You can only activate this card when your opponent successfully normal summons, flip summons, or special summons a monster. As long as the monster remains on the field, the original attack of the monster is halved? Well, shit. Well, this'll have to work in my favor, too. Come on, try to attack it, I dare you. Still not going to attack. Just proving how much of a chicken you really are. It's a one. Alright, I have no idea if I can just beat what's face down. But I have many outs. Dark Rabbit. Alright, let's activate this now. Sadly, it'll only be 2,000 for the one turn. But I'll have to make do with it. So as a result, I pretty much have a monster that's weaker than my four-star monsters. You, you just put it in attack mode? Why? Why would you do that? It's a six. Come on, give me a three. Nice! I tend to get the outcome I want after a six for some reason. Okay, well, combined, they should be enough damage to win. Beautiful. So it looks like in order to progress the game, I'm just gonna have to keep dueling and dueling until something happens. Oh, close to level three. Once I get to level three, I'll go to the shop. You still don't want to register, you stinge? There's someone here. Where else would someone be? All the way over here. Okay, from the looks of things, I'd probably uh, go across the map faster if I go this way. Oh! It's this punk again. Oh, I'm going to get some sweet revenge for last time. Honestly, I'm happy that if I can run into anyone rather than someone new, it's Bakura. Alright, I have no idea what I'm going to be up against first. So let's use an arm ninja. Pyramid Turtle. I was kind of hoping he would just have a spell face down. But that ain't happening now, is it? Oh, now he puts a spell face down. Okay, this will get problematic real fast. 
I suppose one thing I could do... Well, if I'm not gonna keep a monster alive for more than one single turn... Thanks to Ectoplasma... And just my luck, as soon as I use up my Arm Ninja, now he has a spell card. Call of the Haunted? Well, I might as well continue to attack now. Either way, if I leave him alone, he's gonna have a second monster in play. So he's gonna get a special summon. Which is a Patrician of Darkness. As long as this monster remains face up on the field, the controller of this card selects the targets of his or her opponent's attacks. So now I have to lose my snake hair. Like, this is my luck! As soon as I lose my arm ninja, then comes the Ectoplasma. And this guy's one of the first opponents you get! Pulling some advanced meta. Does this not seem BS to you? This is one of the first opponents. Think about that for a second. Well, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and use Copycat. Okay, well, unfortunately, I'll end up losing my monster anyway. So there's no point in buffing this up. Because, even if I use Ectoplasma, I'm doing zero damage. I feel Ectoplasma would be a little less powerful if, you know, if there was no monster to tribute, it's automatically destroyed. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. Clown Zombie, eh? No sense using a gate attack now. I gotta save it for a tougher monster than this. I gotta somehow do enough damage that I'm able to drain him completely. Oh look! Wait, that was a bit of a delay. I was just mashing the button, it didn't work. And it's just a matter of, like, blitzing all my damage now. Into singular strikes. Can Magic Drain only work on cards that have just been laid down? Or is that when their activation kicks in? You can activate this card when your opponent activates the spell card. Can I use Magic Drain to get rid of the Ectoplasma, even if it's already on the field? I gotta try it. Headless Knight. Great. Alright, let's see if this actually works. Negate the attack. Being activated. Now it didn't ask me, so I guess it only works once. Fortunately, I'm not gonna do enough damage. This guy got me beat. This sucks. No matter what I do, I can't beat Bakura because he gets Ectoplasma top decked. And as soon as that comes out, I'm done.
This is not going to be enough damage. And I have to count on him ensuring he doesn't have a monster to play. So he has to have no monsters in his hand. And of course, he has one. I lose. And unfortunately, I'm going to get zero things out of it. Like, no points. Okay, maybe 10 points. That somehow will allow me to get two packs. God damn it! You can't beat Bakura if he gets Ectoplasma! I need spells that can destroy other spell cards. And the two things I had, it was too late to use them. Alright, let's go number two. Pyro Shadow Scout, Gadget Soldier, Silver Fang, Feral Imp, Mysterious Puppeteer. Okay, this Pyro Shadow Scout will actually be helpful. This is actually going to be good. Let's try one more of this. Oh my god, I only have one point left. Barrel Imp, Gadget Soldier, Tiger Axe, Dungeon Worm, Spellbinding Circle. So I probably only picked out one good thing out of this. You know what? You can go away. I'm not gonna use you much. Now, what did I pick up again? Hyro Shadow Scout? Alright, you're going straight into the deck. It doesn't outright destroy Ectoplasma, but at least I can make him have to discard it. All right, where are we dropping next? Here? But I didn't get to see what that was. Oh, it's Yugi again! Well, whoop de doo couldn't bank your own deck by yourself? Magic Darkness. It's a pretty gaudy name. Well, better than LP deck. <laughs> Oh yeah, I added Kunai with Chain to my deck as well. I forget what trap I got rid of in its place. It's probably something I wasn't going to use much. Alright, well I can counter that Winged Dragon right now. With a monster of my own. Fantastic. set both these things face down. Alright, so we can deduce that Yugi does not have Mirror Force. Swords Revealing Light, however, is no good. Great, so now I gotta wait it out a few turns. Light Force Sword... Oh no, my Wabaku is banished for four turns. It is four turns, right? No, three turns! Okay. I'm gonna have to start overloading the field. To keep myself protected. Oh, shoot, that's a summon skull. That's going to be tough to go against. All right, let's use Kunai with Chain. Let's activate both effects. Designate one of your own monsters you wish to equip. 
go with this one. And put Summon Skull on defense mode. That's fine and dandy and all, but I still gotta be able to keep that out of the way. Oh, here's a plan. As much as I wanna use Eternal Rest, unfortunately the issue I'm gonna have is that I lose my Great White. I can't equip Paralyzing Potion to Summon Skull. And use Eternal Rest to destroy it, but I lose my Great White. And unfortunately, with Kunai with Chain, Summon Skull can return to attack position. And still cause me more problems. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do this. Well, at least I still have my summon. Alright, one more turn, and then I'll be able to finally attack again. Oh, what'd he do? Celtic Guardian. It can't even beat anything we got. To make sure it doesn't, let me activate Sword of Dark Destruction. Now it'll be a little bit more versatile for up or up against. Except for maybe Curse of Dragon. Okay, we can attack again. This is wonderful. Ooh, another thing we could do is sacrifice to bring in Kazajin. But we need to take out two of those monsters now. That'll prevent him from possibly getting Dark Magician out. Okay. That's a start. We're roaring back after, you know, being unable to attack for three turns. Oh! He has pretty much a dead hand. Now it's time to whittle this guy down. As systematically as it gets. Oh, he had a Karibo. Well, luckily it was the weaker one. That I attacked with. So, of course, Yugi didn't even bother to put it on the field to defend himself. But, you know, more power to him. Still not going to attack. Well, I guess he can't. If he was keeping this Mirror Force face down this whole time for this very moment, I'm going to be pissed. Oh no, a mystical elf? Hang on. The skull dice reduce defense. Yes, it does. How much do we lower it by? Three. Well, it still wins this exchange. But we have monsters that can beat it, or, well, actually, we only got one. Okay, crisis averted. So it looks like I'm gonna have to bring down Wabaku for the upcoming turn. Just in case. I have enough monsters on the field that I can bring in Kazajin and still have auxiliary monsters to attack with. 
So that's gonna have to be the plan. Because I can't hope that he doesn't bring in another mystical elf or giant soldier of stone. Well, I can win on this next attack, so you know what? I will. Spellbinding Circle. That was what he just drew. That's fine. That's fine. I win. Like, I can beat Yugi, but I can't beat Bakura. What a world this is. Level up! Oh, I got the level up bonus, so I gained 300 points from that alone. Wow, it's nighttime already. Alright, let me go to the shop. Oh, wait. That's not the shop. That's my house! Oops! <laughs> well, it's on the way. Do any new packs unlock for being at level 3? Oh, yes, there is! Look! Broken Seal! Alright, let's see what we get from this. Time Eater, Raticating Aerosol, Crimson Ninja, Headless Knight, and Magician of Faith. Magician of Faith is good to have for your deck. Go number six. I'm feeling number six. Tyhone, Stimpak, Curse of Dragon, Skull Dice, and Gaia the Dragon Champion. I mean, that would have been nice if I fused more, but I don't. Okay, one thing I would definitely like to have is at least one field card. And unfortunately, I don't have that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to get rid of red medicine. Your love is like red medicine. <laughs> Probably something else would be useless. But I can't think of it right now. I'm gonna keep Paralyzing Potion because it actually helped. Now, where's Magician of Faith? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's in alphabetical order, so I should know. should probably start happening at night at the very least. At least at night. So let's have like one more duel and then we'll end the episode. Oh, it's Joey again. Fine, I'll take on Joey again. I'm surprised I haven't run into anyone new in a while. Like, I should start running into more people. And that has not happened yet. Alright, I know how to start this off. Ooh, alligator sword. I'm so scared. Okay, Pot of Greed is really good to draw two cards. I'm pretty sure Pot of Greed is still banned, is it? In tournament play? Got a magic drain out of it, at least. Okay, I have multiple cards that can beat an alligator sword. Let's start things off by setting a Skull Dice. I bet she's got a kunai with chain, though, so I gotta be careful. Yep, it happened to be the first card he laid down. Actually, 
I can just go ahead and activate Eternal Rest. There, force him to get rid of his old monster. Tiger Axe and Metal Morph. Okay, after activation, this card is equipped used to equip a phase of monster. The monster equipped this card increases attack and defense by 300 points. When attacking uh, with a monster equipped this card, can further increase its attack by an amount equal to half the attack of your target. Oh, damn. No good for me to use Skull Dice now. I would imagine this just be a temporary increase, though. Now it's at 2400. Dangerous Machine Type 6. Yeah, we gotta get rid of it now, if we can. Every time I've used Magic Drain, not once have I been able to ne negate a spell. Not once. Okay, it's already stronger than what I have. Okay, so it's only when it attacks. That means I can still beat this monster. What I need to do first... Summon to a King Rex. Activate Skull Dice. And I got a 4. So I just nerfed it. Wonderful. Alternatively, I could have just tried to let it attack Trapmaster. It would destroy Metal Morph, but the Tigerax would still be alive. Tigerax just sounds like the name of a deodorant. Am I give me a four? It's a six. So that card was not long for this world. Oh no. An Axe Raider. Okay, if I can get a Stim Pack or a Rush Recklessly, I can counter this. You know what? This works too. It'll buy me time. Another Tiger Axe. Fantastic. Prevent Rat actually helped. If I just set something else down, I still gotta worry about that axe raider. But I would prefer to have one monster on his field and two if I can help it. Because unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to keep two monsters on the field at a time. As much as I'd like to. But it's not happening, that Axe Raider will attack it. Oh look, a Rocket Warrior. I'm surprised you kamikaze there. Oh yeah, it has an effect that would prevent it from being destroyed, I guess. Oh, if I had just kept my snake hair alive, I could have used this. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. It would happen to be the very next card I drew, too.
Well, I can get rid of Rocket Warrior at least. Oh, come on, give me something good. Anything that's dark will help me out, big time. Anything dark. Oh, you're bringing out the baby dragon as well. And another dangerous machine type six. Okay, this is good. Snake hair buff with Sword of Dark Destruction. We'll take out that Axe Raider. Hope I can get a better equip spell than this. Something that'll go with any attribute or type. Because Sword of Dark Destruction, sadly, is very limited. Come on, give me a four. Get me a four. Get me a four. It's a five. Well, there goes my prevent rat. That was the one thing keeping me from getting wiped. Okay, let's get rid of that baby dragon. I'm sure Joey also has Time Wizard, but I haven't seen it yet. A one. Oh, he had to discard a card himself. Oh no, he had a Panther Warrior. Honey, honey, to okay. Well, no sense to just select baby dragon. This panther warrior can only attack if there's a tribute available. Oh, this helps too. So just in case the Panther Warrior can attack, I'll be able to stop it in its tracks. <coughs> Come on, try me, Joey. Five. Another five? So I instantly lose my monster! God damn it. Well, you can't attack with this anyway. Oh. Yeah, batteries on this controller are about to die soon. So I say after this episode, I'm gonna have to charge them. Okay, finally get rid of that Panther Warrior. I swear to God, Joey, if you get another five, I'm not gonna be pleased. Or even draw an Axe Raider. I'm not gonna be pleased with that either. Four. Okay, I can deal with a four. Four, or six, or one is what I need. Take this guy down a peg. But it looks like I got the upper hand. I don't think anyone's gonna complain that this is a lengthy video, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Joey, let's see what you got now. I maintain the momentum. One. Oh, that one card you had, it's gone. And it was Needle Wall he just drew. Whew, I dodged a bullet. 
3750. You know what? If I can attack three times, I win. One of the attacks went through. Two of the attacks are going through. And three of the attacks are going through. Ah, 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 ah. Life is good again. <laughs> no special summon bonus. Nice. No! I lost! Again, yes. You lost. Again. Let's already return. Okay, we're forced to go home. Alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sleep now. We haven't been able to advance any of the plot whatsoever. Like, I've gained a couple levels so far, but nothing has been advanced. People have said this game was slow, and I'm really starting to see that now. Like, things were supposed to happen at night, from what I heard, and it just hasn't gone down yet. This is day three. Well, let's see what happens in day three, then. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.